Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video today. And guys, I'm going to Mar I'm doing a market talk today. I know you guys have been requesting it heavily in the comments. And you know, guys, I want to get this clear now. I'm not a market YouTuber. I don't want to be. I will gladly help you guys. But I don't want to be a base channel around the market. So just remember that, guys. I would, I would love it if you could watch all my content. I want to be, I want to be daily content, you know, news, tips, tricks, gameplays. And I want to be everything. I don't want to, want to be known as, I don't want to be as, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get demonetized. I don't want to be the coin, you know what. I want to be, I want to be everything. I want to be a Madden YouTuber. I don't want to be a, a, a coin slave, as, I, as I'll, I'll call it in different terms. So... I will be doing market talks here and there. I definitely love doing them. They're very fun to do, but just remember that's not all I am. That's it. That was a quick little spiel to start the video, guys. I will be going over today, though, because a lot of things did happen in the market, and I'm going to be going over quickly just so you guys have an idea of how to go with your coins. This is more so just me being efficient for you guys and then letting you guys know how I believe you should be spending your coins and if it's safe to invest them right now into the market. And also, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button. Turn on the noti bell to be notified. Market talks like these and a lot of videos I drop are very time sensitive. If you get them on time, right when I post them, they will help you. A market talk video is very useful when I first post it. It's not so useful later when I lend you when you see it. So if I'm telling you something great to do, it's good to have the noti bell on. So go hit that noti bell. It'll help me out, help you guys out. Also, let's get this video to 100 likes. We've been hitting the like goal. I really, really appreciate it. So let's keep doing it, guys. But anyways, also comment down below what you believe is the best investment in the market right now. And also... What you think is the best elite to be purchasing right now, which is kind of a similar question, but the investment part is a little different. So guys, let's get into the market. So I haven't done this yet for Madden 20, but I've been sitting on the market all day. So I like to start low. I always like to start low. If you guys know the routine of this starting low. So the 80s, 81s, they're up in price right now from what they were a week ago. Now I've been telling you guys, I thought they would go up because they were seven to 8k were too cheap for the 80s. Because even in years past, they've never been that cheap. So I believe they'll stay around here. I believe this is a little expensive, but this is where they should be. I have no problem with this. If you guys are going to get training out of here, though, make sure you buy the 81s, like TJ Watt, because the 80s are very low on training. 81s are the move at the similar prices. Just don't make that mistake. Quick little tip. Now, would I touch any of these cards? No. They won't go up. They won't go down. They're, very, they're like stagnant cards. They're like, they're like Disney stocks. They just don't move. They just stay still. Let's go up to the next level, because those are going to be really boring to talk about. 82s to 83s. Very similar case. They're, they're, they're valued around the right price. I believe the 83s will come down a bit because 83s should not be at... Where are they at right now? They are at... Damn, where are they? Oh, okay. There's, there, I just don't want to price a lot. The first 83s, 25k. They're going to come down a little bit. So if you have 83s, I don't expect them to come up too much. They'll probably, they'll probably remain stagnant if anything come down. The 82s are going to stay around where they are. I mean, they're even, even they're a little higher right now. I believe these are more around 14k cards and the 83s are more around 20k cards. But that's just my personal opinion. These are very boring to talk about too. So let's move on to the next layer, which will be the 84s to 85s. All right, now going to the 84s to 85s, we got Golden Tate and all these new players starting off right here. These are really cheap for 84s, guys. Damn, if you guys want any of these players, I mean, like, I mean, I, I don't like many of them, but Anthony Barr is pretty good. Philip Lindsay is a beast, a budget piece. I'll probably throw him into a budget beast video if I end up making one. But anyways, the point here, guys, is that if you're going to get 34s right now, I believe 34s, 84s are pretty cheap. I was saying 34. I mean, 31k for 84s are pretty cheap. If you guys need any players in your team, an 84 player for 30k right here is pretty, pretty cheap. I would not mind that. Now, 85s, on the other hand, they're a different story. They, I mean, the, the superstar ones aren't bad. Like Alshon Jeffrey, it's not too expensive. Would I buy Le'Veon Bell? Adam Thielen, no. Jason Kelsey, he's my center. That's why I pulled out of a pack. Byron Jones is really good, but. Again, 85s are a little bit on the pricier side in comparison to what you can get 86s for. Let's take it a notch up to the next level. 86 to 87s. See, personally, like the 86s are very close to the fit of the 85s in the comparison. It's just like these cards are kind of ass. So, like, personally, I don't like any of the 86s. Like, Harrison Smith, Richard Sherman, all too slow. A kicker, Ezekiel LA, too slow. All the 86s are slow. Travis Kelsey, slow. I literally don't use this filter at all right here. I never sit in this one. The only 86 I like is Trent Williams. But he's too expensive. The 86 is my opinion. These 80, the good 86s are too overpriced right now. Meanwhile, the 87s are coming down. You can literally get okay. Before Odell was 99k, by the way, guys, 95k. So my opinion, 
if you can get these 87s right here for cheap, this, these are the ones you want to worry about out of all the cards I've showed you so far. Michael Strahan for cheap. Like, Michael Strahan for 80K is a really good buy because you can put him into the set piece. Uh, you can use him as a set piece and you can make his full legend and sell him for like 240. But now, guys, right here's what you want to worry about Luke Keekley, Julio Jones, AB, and Odell. So, Odell before was 95K. So, if you can get an Odell for in the 90s, buy that buy that as quick as possible and resell that but these are those are the ones i'd aim with because those have the highest demand on the market the other ones don't really like sherman in them 98 carat if you can get this for like 88 okay buy it and then i wouldn't sell right away i'd wait till later tonight when things slow down bundles slow down there might be legend packs that could kill it for a little bit but i'd wait for all that and then i'd resell later tonight you could probably sell it for like 120 130 make quick 15 20k and if you buy a few of them you can make a good amount of coins and then again with odell 109k you can get them for like 90 to 92k you could probably hold on to that till latest night and resell for like 130. Always sell overnight, remember that. That's like a quick tip. Now let's go check Julio out. I wouldn't really concern with much others. These I don't even use buy players here. I'll show you exactly where I like to sit soon. Julio for 110. Again, if you can get him in the 90s, you probably resell him later for 120. And if you wait even later in this week, maybe 140. These elite cards are very cheap because this is like the market, right? It was like here, here, here. Superstars came out, it went here. And now it's gonna slowly trend back up. And when it does, you're gonna give cards for really, really cheap. So I'd highly recommend that. Now going over to the 88 to 89s, this is where I like to sit. So Tom Brady, kind of on the cheap side. If you, he sometimes dips to 85 to 90K. If you can find him for that price, buy it out, buy two of them, hold it, resell for 135, 140 overnight. Right here, you'll probably resell them for right around this area. You'll probably make like quick 60K off each one you have, 50K. And that's easily 100K in two cards that you just had to hold for a day or two. D hops really cheap. Bobby Wagner. If you can get Bobby Wagner right now, he's going for 149. If you can get him from the 120s to 130s, buy his ass, hold them, resell him for about 170 later on. It's gonna be very simple to do. These cards are crazy cheap right now. These right here, D Hop. Now Zach Ertz. He's a really slow, but he is a superstar player. I these are gonna go down, down, down for now because there's all these packs. Once the bundles leave and they start to come back up, these cards are gonna be on the rare end and they're all chemmed up and everything. Remember, all those chems they have on them right now is worth like 100k worth of training. Right, if I, my, my math isn't mistaken, it's like 1,500, 2,000 um, worth of training. Could be wrong. Maybe like seven. Let's go with 70k worth of worth of uh, abilities. Plus their 89 overall cards. So 89 cards typically go for 200k. The training's not even included there. So these cards are more valuable than they even appear at first glance, and people don't realize it yet. So if you can get this card for like 170, or even Harrison Smith for 170, buy them, hold them onto them, and you could probably sell them later for 240, 250, just where Aaron Donald is. Aaron Donald, Khalil Mack are on the lower side too. You can get Khalil Mack for 199. You buy him as quick as possible. You could resell that for 280 later this week. Remember, there will be a weekend league rush. The weekend league rush is when all the competitive players start to gear up for weekend league and they buy the best players available, and that kills the market because they're going to buy Aaron Donalds, Bobby Wagner's, Ken Houston's, and they're going to be gone off the market and they're going to skyrocket in price. Right now, no one's even worrying because their weekend league is not out yet. It's not probably to the following weekend. But as we get closer, this week is when it's with this week as we get closer from Wednesday. To Friday when weekly is about to drop. All the best cards in the game are probably going to be scarce and, and, and availability. So take that as you will. It's just my little tip advice. Now 1991s, not much you can do here. I mean, I like it, but not everyone has this kind of coins. So for me personally, Patrick Mahomes and Stephon Gilmore are what you're going to be looking for right now. If you can get an LA for below uh, 200k, it's obviously a good buy, but too volatile. I'd rather stay here. If you can get Gilmore or Mahomes for under 300k, I think that's a great buy. You could probably resell easily for above 300k. Personally, the newest. I bought Mahomes for 381. I really didn't care. I wanted him on my team. I did not care how much I lost. And Mahomes and Gilmore are beasts, guys. If you can get them, like I said, with all their abilities and everything, if you can find them for below 300k, I'd buy. I don't care if he goes down. I mean, I think he'll come. He's gonna come right back up once once Weekend League gets going. Mahomes is the best quarterback in the game. He's going to be snatched up. Gilmore's the best cornerback in the game. Him and Mel Blunt and Ramsey. And I think Gilmore beats with all three of them, to be honest. So, guys, that's about it for this Market Talk episode. I shouldn't say episode. It's not really going to be a series. Remember, guys, I'm not the Market guy. Madden YouTuber with occasional market and coin tips. I'm not the coin guy. Don't forget, I'm not saying the word I want to say. I don't want to get demonetized, but I'm not that. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys found it helpful, comment down below what you guys think are the best investments and maybe even I could use them if they're really good. Comment down below how many coins you made so far investing in the market. And guys, smash the like button. Let's get this to 100 likes. If you get it to 100 likes, I will do some more. But I'm not that coin guy. Don't forget. 
Now smash the subscribe button. Let's get growing again, boys. It will mean a lot to me. Hit the noti bell to get notified for all my videos. And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.